the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. I tell you what, last night it kicked off on Channel 7, Million Dollar Island. This is going to get really, really brutal. They're all up for the million dollars. They're all playing for it. And the man behind it, the man that's hosting it is the magnificent Ant Middleton. How are you, brother? I'm always good, guys. And you know what? It's really good to see you guys as well. I miss you guys, man. Yeah, and great. with this show, I mean, can you now finally say, this is a game, instead of this is not a game? <laughs> this is, yeah. yeah, so 100 people get thrown on the people. island. And when I mean thrown on the island, literally thrown on the island with a $10,000 bracelet on. So there's a million dollars on the island. So forget about the contestants for a moment. There's a million dollars on the island. Yep. And when the conte- contestants leave... They have to leave their their bracelet on the island. Now, they might lose it during a challenge and then go, or they might want to leave. They're volunteers. They can leave at any stage because they they have to survive there for a whole month. And can I ask, because I know the tactics is a big thing in a lot of these. There's Mm. the physical and then there's the mind games and the tactics. Can you, by the rules of this show, if someone was fast asleep, can I sneak up and try and take their bracelet? Well, there's a rule you can, but you have you have to knock them out. They have to be clean out for 10 seconds before you can take the bracelet. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking. I'm not that far. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like Hunger Games, Oh, Ant. my God. I want to ask one quick question, though, about um, food and supplies. Is uh, Are the, the people on the island well looked after and do they, or uh, because they're on an island, are they kind of having to forage for their own food and make their own sleeping, yeah. you know, arrangements? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, this isn't, again, the survival element of it, just alone is savage. Um, you know, they get a couple of crates um, at the very, very beginning. So once that runs out, then they they have to hunt, they have to forage, they have to survive. And that's where the desperation comes in because you start to see a bit of a vindictiveness goes on along with a bit of sleep deprivation and starvation. You get a whole different personality, storm, a whole different society. What I want to know, right, let's say you get to a month, like a couple of days out from the month and there's only a few people left on the show. Can you challenge someone? Let's say someone's got $500,000 on their arm. Right, in in ten thousand yeah. dollar bracelets. Can you go throw everything in and throw in the pot ant and go, I challenge you for all your wristbands on your arm? Yes, if it comes down to the final challenge and you, and you get that number, you can you can win it all. But if you're the richest person on the island, the richest player on the island, then yep. you cannot be nominated for the next arena challenge. Right, gotcha. So, okay. so, but it pays to be the richest because you've got a lot of power, but also if someone but you know, gets one more bracelet than you, then then you're the next target. You of better realise that. So you've yeah. got to stay on top of your game all the time, which doesn't happen. You know, it, it fluctuates and it's, it's an emotional roller coaster. But yes, at the end, if your number falls on, and you know, you can literally chuck it all in the pot bar bar yeah. one. And we're really excited about this. But before you go, we need to we need to probe you a little bit about SAS. And you've done a few SAS Australias now. We, you've had a lot of controversial figures <laughs> here in Australia go on that show. Do you probe pretty hard with this one? Everyone seems to be talking about Craig McLaughlin quite quite a bit going oh, yeah, on SAS. Yeah. Do you get a bit out of him on the show? Is it going to be quite brutal, Ant? Yeah, this it, it, it is brutal. It's uh, there's some very interesting characters on this one. More so the psychological side of how people work. Yeah, you know, there's some real psychological sort of undoings and uh, rebuildings, shall we say? And Lots you know, of tears some of the Craig people McLaughlin. just mentioned. Mm. Well, where, did, um, where, where did you film this one at? Where it wasn't in Australia, was it? No, it was in uh, the Middle East. Oh, I can't oh say where you know, but I don't, I, don't, I don't want to get in trouble. No, um, yeah. no, you know, so the so um, conditions were tougher. Yeah, they were, they were, they were, they were brutal. Yes, you know, there's a couple of people on this one where they wanted to quit quite early, and I'm like, yeah. listen, I'm not finished with you. I'm not done with you yet. <laughs> We've um, got some great so, television uh, to make. Yeah. And can we also say, and, you know, we could probably cut this out of the interview and keep it sort of behind the scenes, but Kate would like to audition for no. the next SAS. No. It's so um, funny. Pretty pretty Kate. No, look, it's one of those shows, though, that even when the first series started, I have to say, the talkability around it and everyone chatting about whether they could whether they could do it. I even received text messages from my dad, who was an ex-police officer <laughs> here in Australia, <laughs> saying, I reckon you could do this, Kate. 
Kate. You need <laughs> to do the next one. Kate, can you, can you can you do ten press ups, Kate? Yeah. Yeah, she does. I can't do pull. I can't do pull up. No, I don't do requests. And no way. You can pass the free up. Well, I I certainly won't. I won't pass the psychological test. That's for sure. Not this one. Million Dollar Island continues seven thirty Tuesdays and Wednesdays on Channel Seven Seven Plus. It's good to see your face again, buddy, and can't wait to have you back in Australia. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Love you loads. Cheers. Fifty and Wepper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this. Head to novapodcast.com.au.